So as you remember in the previous video, we have allowed the seller to register successfully. Okay. Uh, and one thing which we need to implement in this video is basically to check if the user is already authenticated. Okay. That is if the user is already logged in, which means during sign up, we also authenticate the seller. So if the seller is already authenticated, then we will automatically send the seller to the home screen okay otherwise uh, if the seller is not authenticated then we will uh, send back the seller to the registration or login screen I mean to this screen okay so we have to check if the seller is already authenticated or not if you remember in the previous video when we register the pizza heart which is which is the first seller or you can say the first cafe or first restaurant in our app we have already authenticated that and the data is already stored in the fire store as well as in the Firestore, uh, Firebase authentication, everything is stored successfully. But here now we have to ch add a condition which will check for the authenticate, authenticated state, whether the seller is authenticated already. Okay, that is, unless until the seller click on the logout button. In that case, we will log out the seller from the app. Otherwise. The seller will be inside the app okay we have to check that stat i hope now you understand it easily so for that what we need to do we need to simply go to our split screen from where our app basically starts here inside the function where we sending the seller to the authentication screen login sign up screen here we have to add a condition basically so we can say we need to create an instance of our firebase current user okay so for that let me just create another directory right click on lib new directory and we will give it name as uh, global okay right click on global new and click on dot file and let's give it name as global so inside the global we have our global dot dot file first of all what we need to do here if you remember on the registration page where we basically use first of all this one this one okay which is shared for francis shared for francis copy it from here and then remove this shared for francis from here okay on in the global dot dot let's just define it here okay just like this make sure to import the shared references package just like this so anyways now uh, the second one is basically the firebase auth and here now when you click here it will show you this red bulb click on it and import the global dot dot okay and here we have to add the uh, null check now okay just to make sure that shared references is not null it has been initialized okay the reason for this is basically when you we use it here in the global we define it here then there will be no need to define it again and again whenever if we require the shared references in the app for retrieving the information later on in the course okay so anyways now what we need to do on the registration dot dot the next thing is the firebase auth which we use here which is this one inside the function this function final firebase auth for this just copy this whole I mean cut this from here okay and go to the global dot dot file and simply paste it here okay and make sure to import this firebase auth remove the final keyword from it just like this and on the registration dot dot just remove this firebase auth okay and retype it so you will see this as a suggestion also okay which belongs to our global dot dot so import this one firebase auth so simple and so easy so now there is no need to define the firebase auth or share references again and again here we have even initialized the firebase auth okay now i will tell you now here on the share splash screen we need that firebase auth so in order to access it there is no need to define it again on the splash screen instead we can simply ex uh, i mean access that firebase auth directly by simply saying here that is firebase auth so simple and so easy dot current user 
not equals to null let's and we can add this condition inside the timer so cut this one here and inside the timer which is this one we can check that is if firebase or dot current user not equals to null which simply means that if the user is already logged in or authenticated then in that case so copy this navigator dot push okay and here we can say navigator dot push send the user to the home screen okay if the user is already logged in which simply means authenticated remember when we sign up we basically create user with email and password which simply means authenticated with the firebase authentication and with that the user is already logged in in the app and that is why the user was on the login at uh, the home screen in the previous video okay during the testing i hope you remember that now if we test the app after this condition let me just write it quickly you will notice that we are already on the home screen okay because the user is already logged in with the sign up okay so it simply means if the current user not equals to null which simply means the user is already logged in send the user i mean the seller okay by user i mean the seller as we are working on the seller app okay so the seller will be on the home screen otherwise the seller will be inside the authentication screen so if i run the app now okay now you will see it we will be on the home screen okay because the seller when we allow the seller in the previous video to sign up with firebase authentication then with the sign up basically the seller is already authenticated and already logged in into the app so now whenever the seller restart the app okay he will be on the he or she will be on the home screen so this was basically to check if if seller is already is logged in already okay and then if seller is not logged in already